there. Welcome to Just the Dis. We talk about Blu-rays here, of course. My name is Brian, and this is going to be just an unboxing video, a relatively quick unboxing. I got my Vinegar Syndrome package for the month of August, and uh, I have pre-opened it and pre uncellophaned the disc, um, just so I can show you guys alternate, art, uh, alternate artwork and uh, the inside of the disc if you want to see that, you know, I figure some people are interested. Um, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do this kind of quick, and I'm gonna go through the first two I'm most excited about. We'll start with Terminal Island, and this is a 4K release, very exciting 4K Ultra HD release. Just give you a look at the slip cover there. Okay. You may recognize Roger E. Mosley on the back there in the middle from Magnum PI. Okay. So then we have two discs. Of course, we have our Blu ray and our 4K Ultra HD. And we have alternative artwork there. This is one I used to have, or I still have, on a Code Red Blu-ray, but I'm quite sure this is going to look so much better. Even just the Blu-ray is going to look so much better. Um, okay. So this one, I don't remember it all that well. It's been a long time. I feel like I maybe haven't seen it since VHS, maybe. Um, uh, it says, Carmen Sims has just been sentenced to death. That is uh, life imprisonment on Terminal, uh, Terminal Island, an island located miles off the mainland of California, which was created to house murderers and vicious criminals in the wake of prison overcrowding. With no guards, no cells, and no laws, Terminal Island has morphed into a de facto society whose self-appointed leader, the tyrannical Bobby, rules with an iron fist, using other inmates, particularly women, for his own brutal pleasures. As tension and violence mounts, Carmen finds her place as the unlikely leader of the terminals of the island's underground resistance, which is planning to overthrow Bobby's reign of terror. Cult movie masterpiece from acclaimed director Stephanie Rothman, The Working Girls, The Velvet Vampire. Oh, I forgot this is a Stephanie Rothman movie. That makes it even more exciting. That's so cool. Yeah, I've been getting into her work even more since I saw it. So this would have been the first Stephanie Rothman film I would have seen. And I only saw Velvet Vampire recently and the working girls i think i've seen i have it but now i can't remember so i'm gonna have maybe a mini stephanie rothman fest here because i have velvet vampire in the out of print screen factory blu-ray um uh, let's see here uh riley blends a violent action and survival film plot structure with commentary on the american justice system starring phyllis davis from sweet sugar veteran tv actor don marshall uh, Emmy winner Tom Selleck. Oh, yeah, Tom Selleck shows up in this, too. Um, I can't tell if that's him. It might be him. Um, and uh, let's see here. Like I said, Roger E. Mosley is in this. Um, special features. We'll just give you a look at the back here. Why Be a Man When You Can Be a Rothman, a brand new extended interview with co-writer-director Stephanie Rothman. I'm very much looking forward to checking that out. Uh, From Hartman to Carmen, brand new interview with lead actress Anna Hartman, Crash Landing and Terminal Island, brand new featurette with actress Marta Kristen and actor Sean Kenny, The Rothmanissance, Rediscovering the Work of Stephanie Rothman, brand new critical featurette with film historian Dr. Alicia Cosma and film author, journalist, programmer Heidi Honeycutt. Also really looking forward to that. Any reevaluation or slash evaluation of Stephanie Rothman's work sounds very exciting to me. Uh, as you can see, region free 4K Ultra HD, um, presented with HDR, newly scanned in 4K and restored, 35 millimeter camera negative. That's how they do it, folks. I love it. So you got your reversible artwork, which I've shown you. So that one is definitely at the top of my list of uh, stuff I want to watch. And this is the next one, Tough Guys Don't Dance, Norman Mailer's film. Um, and this is the artwork. I like the uh, fake wood, or, yeah, it looks like wood. 
Very nice slip case as usual. Uh, here is the flipped artwork on the inside for Tough Guys Don't Dance. And this is a Canon film. And one of the more, you know, has a certain reputation for that one scene with Ryan O'Neill saying, uh, like, oh my God, or whatever he says over and over. Um, which is a bummer because I feel like that becomes memefied and then people think the movie's a joke. And I mean, granted, the critical reception was not necessarily, if I recall, um, amazing. But this is one I'm, you know, myself victim of that sort of status and have not seen yet, but have wanted to see for years, have owned the DVD for years and just never gotten around to it. Um, so uh, I know Justin Liberty is a huge fan of this one. And that's all I really need. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm into this. You know, this is going to be, I think, something I'm really going to dig. As you can see there, executive produced by Francis Ford Coppola. Uh, and, of course, directed by Mailer. Um, and music by Ad Angelo Badalamente. Very cool. Um, so after two weeks... Uh, after a two-week bender, Tim Madden awakens uh, one morning from his drunken state, only to discover everything in his life seems amiss. There's a fresh tattoo on his arm, his car is covered in blood, his girlfriend is in bed with the town sheriff, but worst of all, there's a woman, a uh, woman's severed head in his weed stash. Uh, sensing a setup in desperate need, and in desperate need to clear his name, Tim begins an investigation with the help of uh, his dying father they soon become. That seems to come, uh, begins to expose an ever stranger web of corruption, greed, blackmail, and violence woven into every aspect of the uh, community of Provincetown. Uh, the last feature film directed by Pulitzer Prize winner uh, Norman Mailer, Tough Guys Don't Dance is a Wild, Labyrinthian, Neo Noir, Black Comedy, starring Ryan O'Neill. Alongside actors Isabella Rossellini, Wings Hauser, oh man, Lawrence Tierney, uh, and more equal parts brutally violent, suspenseful, and bris blisteringly funny. Vinegar Syndrome is proud to present the long overdue Blu ray debut of Tough Guys Do Dance, newly restored in 2K from its 35mm inner positive and featuring a revealing new interviews with its cast and crew. Now, that is super cool. You have, uh, you don't. Uh, have to make me any nuttier. A brand new interview with the with actor uh, Wings Hauser. Can't wait for that. Uh, shooting in Helltown. Brand new interview with cinematographer John Bailey. My Dad in Motion. An interview with Michael Mailer, son of uh, director Norman Mailer. A crazy Wild Spooky Movie. A brand new interview with uh, Michael Lennon, Norman Mailer's archivist and biographer. An archival featurette, Norman Mailer in Provincetown. Um, so yeah, neo-noir, bizarre sounding movie, and I'm a big Ryan O'Neill fan, big as a Bella Rossellini fan, uh, so this is going to be a fun discovery, I know it, and as soon as it was announced, I got excited, I was like, oh wow, that's one, it's been on the list forever, and it's about time I finally saw it, so hats off on that one, then we have, uh, Girl School Screamers. Show you the slip. Finishing school that finished them off. Um, okay. And this one has, I think, two... This is the flipped artwork that I... When I flipped it from when it was initially... Let me just... Um, and there's the back. And your inside artwork is similar to the slip, but not. <laughs> Actually, it's totally different. So this is the other alternate artwork you get for this one. Very nice. And the disc. And this is one that I was teased a long while back and was totally another, you know, Vinger Syndrome off my radar, had no idea what this was, had never heard about it ever. Um, and so I'm very curious about it, but again, I don't know anything about it. It says at an exclusive all girls college, a group of uh, chronically misbehaving students are rewarded, quotes, for their bad behavior by being assigned with the task of cleaning a magnificent old mansion with a deadly past. 
in preparation for its grand reopening by the school, but sorry, uh, but when the girls discover and use a dusty old Ouija board, uh, they accidentally revive a terrifying evil spirit, which begins dispatching them by cleaver, hook, car, and more. Can they put an end to the carnage before none are left alive? Independently produced in Philadelphia by first-time director John P. Finnegan. Uh, under the title The Portrait, its post-production was undertaken by Troma, which immediately transformed the film into a late-period grindhouse classic, rechristening it Girl School Screamers. With its effective mix of haunted house horror and gruesome slasher structured kills, Vinegar Syndrome is delighted to offer Girl School Screamers on Blu-ray for the first time, freshly restored from its original camera negative, um, original negative and jam-packed with extras. Um, so that sounds intriguing to me. Slasher structure, haunted house, stuff I love, and your special features, of course, newly scanned and restored in 2K from its 35 uh, camera negative. 28 seconds uh, of violence, an extended making of documentary featuring interviews with editor assistant director Tom Rondinella, second assistant camera and second assistant director Bill Pace, actor Peter Cosimano, and sound designer John Hodian, commentary track with writer, director, producer John P. Finnegan, commentary track with editor assistant director Tom Rondella, Rondinella, and second assistant camera assistant director Bill Pace. Um, so a well stacked up nice edition of Girl School Screamers. I'm going to check that one out. That's probably the next one on my list after the first two I showed there in terms of watching order. Um, intriguing. And then this one I have definitely heard of, but I never saw it, I don't think. Um, there's your back of your slip cover, the sides, and I have flipped the artwork on this one. That feels like the old VHS cover to me, especially because like the way Pat Morita's in the corner there and stuff. Um, and I do remember the pie with the eye. Yeah, this is all very familiar. Maybe I even have seen it, uh, but it's it's all very fuzzy, ladies and gents. It's all very fuzzy as you get old. Uh, a black comedy about cannibalism done tastefully. Um, Auntie Lee and her quartet of voluptuous nieces, quote, are known for making the tastiest meat pies around, all from Auntie's top secret recipe, which calls for a most unusual type of meat, human. In order to acquire the juiciest flesh, the girls employ their lusty charms, luring unsuspecting male strangers into a carnal and deadly trap in which they are chopped, quartered, and minced. Everything is going just peachy for Auntie's little family, despite um, the occasional misbehavings of Larry, their, quote, simple helper. But when the girls lure a freaked out rock group over to uh, have dinner, things run the risk of getting out of control. Uh, and what about the perpetually snooping police chief Cole? Um, taking a simple premise and turning it into an increasingly hallucinogenic nightmare, culminating in surreal and bloody final act, Joseph F. Robertson's, uh, I guess he directed The Crawling Hand, uh, Auntie Lee's Meat Pies perhaps heaps on, sorry, heaps on uh, gruesome kills with a healthy side of pitch black humor, graced with a cast as strange as the film itself, among them Pat Morita, Michael Berryman, ooh, very nice, Hills Have Eyes, uh, the 4K just announced from Arrow, just a little aside there. Um, erotic film superstar Terry Weigel, Ural Slee stalwart uh, Werner Pochath, who was in Terror Express, and st uh, starring Karen Black as Auntie Lee. Very cool. Um, I'd forgotten about that. Um, Vinegar Syndrome was proud to bring this would-be midnight movie to Blu-ray for the first time, newly restored in 4K from its 35 original camera negative. Uh... So there you can see Michael Berryman and Pat Morita, I assume. Um, so our special features, Express with Less, an interview with actor Michael Berryman. Very nice. Blood in the Pool, an interview with makeup effects artist Roy Kinrim. Kinrim? Uh, so Bad It's Good, an interview with actor Richard Viden. And Say Yes, an interview with actor Grant Kramer, as well as the recipe for Auntie Lee's Meat Pies, 
by the homicidal homemaker. So that's very cool. You get homicidal homemaker doing a little cooking video, I'm assuming, for us. <clears throat> so here's your inside, your disc, and then, of course, the alternate artwork, which is the same as the slip. So that is Auntie Lee's Meat Pies. And that is it for the regular Vinegar Syndrome package. I also went ahead and got, because I have to now, uh, the next VSA, which is obviously, as you can see, Whatever It Takes, starring Fred Williamson, Don the Dragon Wilson, and Andrew Dice Clay in the, of course, see, look at that little shiny. Uh, and there's the other side. And the back has the shiny. Uh, this, of course, the... Um, I don't know if it's patented, but we've come to know the signature uh, VSA slipcase. This one seems slightly easier to get on for some reason and get off. Um, and then I didn't flip the artwork yet, but I will flip it now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave it because uh, it's just the the alternate artwork is the back, and I, I like the new artwork a little better. Um, so there's your disc. And this one comes with a poster. Uh, very nice, epic, oh, big old poster with both styles of the artwork, so that is cool. Um, and yeah, this is another one that, uh, they snuck by me. Mm, I don't think, again, vaguely maybe heard of it, but definitely have not seen it that I can remember. Uh, and it says Neil is a DEA agent on the brink of suicide after a mistake while undercover leads to the accidental death of a young girl. In order to help Neil, his partner Dave agrees to agrees for the two of them to go back undercover on a federal case involving the distribution of new, highly addictive steroid that is having grave consequences for its users. Once undercover, Neil finds himself immersed in the body building culture and soon falls for his new personal trainer, uh, Marta, Marla. Um, the stakes get higher as Neil moves deeper undercover and gets his sights on taking down the leader of the drug deal dealing ring, the charismatic and ruthless Pauly Solano, a perfect example of the type of action movies that lined the video store shelves back in the 90s. Ain't it the truth? Um, Whatever it takes is an exceptional shoot 'em up complete with fistfights, explosions, and beautiful women starring kickboxing champion Don the Dragon Wilson in one of his best roles and co-starring comedian turned actor Andrew Dice Clay, uh, Michael Bailey Smith, and the always entertaining Fred the Hammer Williamson in one of his <laughs> more villainous roles. I'm into that. I like Fred as a villain. That's cool. Uh, Vinegar Syndrome Archives is proud to present the Blu-ray debut of Whatever It Takes, newly restored in 4K from its original 35mm camera negative. It's all region there. been trying to show the backs so you guys can see if these are all region. Most of them, I think, have been. Um, so, Going for Control, brand new interview with actor Don the Dragon Wilson. Very cool. I Am Classic, brand new interview with <laughs> Fred Williamson. That is that is an aptly titled special feature. Uh, 5,000 run limited edition, double-sided poster. So that is the new VSA. And then last, I've got one from uh, Music Box Selects. The last disc I got from them was Heavy Trip. The um, I think it's Heavy Trip, the uh, Scandinavian... Um, heavy metal movie, the comedy sort of uh, heavy metal movie. And this is Beats. And it's produced, as you can see, by Steven Soderbergh. And I don't know anything about this, but uh, I'm definitely curious as Music Box Selects has shown some intriguing uh, initial uh, opening Blu-rays. So it says, Scotland 1994, Jono and Spanner are the best mates uh, with a shared love for electronic dance music and polar opposites destined for wildly different futures. Straight Lace Jono is leaving town for a mid middle class life with his mother and cop stepdad Robert, while Spanner is facing a dead end with his unhinged criminal brother Fido. When they learn of an unsanctioned underground rave, they decide to sneak out for one last crazy night together. 
set against the backdrop of the Criminal Justice and Public Order Act of 1994, which banned gatherings featuring music with repetitive beats uh, across the UK. I didn't know about that. Um, Beats is a universal story of friendship, rebellion, and the irresistible power of music. I'm into it. Very curious to check this out. Um, So it has a new commentary with the director, Brian Welsh, and writer, Kieran Hurley, making of beats. And um, there's the inside and the disc. Uh, Yeah, so this is the new one, as I said, from Music Box Selects, uh, of course, a partner label with Vinegar Syndrome, and uh, I'm very curious to check this one out. Like I said, don't have any clue about it, but that uh, synopsis, and I'll be honest, the Soderbergh executive produce gets my attention. So anyway, that will do it for this unboxing. Uh, Just wanted to let you guys know what's in this package. If you're still interested in getting any of these single titles, head over to vinegarsyndrome.com. The I don't know if the bundle's still available or not, but um, definitely wanted to just highlight what you're getting with the August package. So thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.